Hello there, I'm Aldra Hill, and welcome back to some Victoria 2 playing Byzantium. Well, we're, we're Greece, but we're on the way. So, we were making a decision. I was between episodes. I was basically having a decision of what I'm going to do. And how am I going to do this? Well, I realized a couple things. First of all, I realized that the Congress of Berlin needs to fire. We need to have the Eastern Crisis. There has to be the Eastern Crisis, and that will happen in either 1865, if Bulgaria can pop out, but I don't think it will, or 1870, and it will happen definitely by 1875. So when that happens, Russia has a couple choices to make. They can either nick um, Constantinople and then release Bulgaria, or they can just simply annul everything. This is the one I want. If they annul all alliances, it removes Russia from their alliance... And their, and their sphere, and it makes everyone else remove their alliance and sphere. Why is Spain allied with them? For God's sakes. Whatever. Um, and if we can do that, it'll end everyone else's alliance with them, and then we can declare war and grab back all our cores. How fantastic would that be? We just gotta make sure we get constant. Oh, we can't get Constantinople. Crap. I will have to see what happens. Have I stopped my remote streams? No, I have not. It's just um, I need to do them later on. I'll be back on Wednesdays again. All right, we're trying to get our um, intellectuals to be a little bit higher in Macedonia. We don't exactly have a lot of soldiers. So to be honest, yeah, I probably should try to get... We want to get rid of the one in Greek Peloponnese, so we're going to remove that. And I think maybe we should try and get some more soldiers here. Annoyingly, we can't do this because we don't have Colonial Army reformed, which is really annoying. Oh, here's a puppet! Hell no, I need to take it for myself. So I can't actually do that, which is a bit frustrating. Um, but take a look. What's the soldier percentage over here? 2.1%. 1.5% in Central Greece. That's pretty good. Let's get some soldiers here. And looking at that now, in terms of the ratio, so 28% chance right now for them to become soldiers because of 20%. And... No, it's been above 50, and because there are at least some soldiers, it's going to reduce the chance, but that's fine. Alright, so now we're going to hopefully get a little bit more soldiers together. Do you count as a colonial nation ever taking your African territory or something? Yes, indeed, I am technically a colonial nation. Yes. I also need to start considering factorization, though it is extremely unlikely to get a lot of people. I do kind of want to start getting factories. So taking a look at my number of factories I have, there is a closed factory in central Greece, and in southern Macedonia, there is a little bit of stuff. Now, here's the thing. In southern Macedonia, the chance of people to become craftsmen is essentially zero. Though there is 10% because the unemployment range uh, is below 50%. It also has minus 9% because of literacy below 30%. So it's not really a lot of points Actually, it would be, yeah, so it'd be a 1% chance for craftsmen, so I could get natural craftsman growth. It's just the problem is my literacy is just so bad. I mean, there's actually some decent literacy over here with my artisans, but it isn't terrible. Let's get Southern Macedonia over there. Oddly enough, Thessalia isn't too bad. Let me just check this. Because Thessalia, I think, has the better RG. I mean, it's okay. It's okay. What's the populate? What's the education rate for Thessalia? Uh, intellectual peoples. It's three point five percent. So you know what? That might be a little while. I'm gonna give it another few years. I probably won't start building factories for a little bit. Um, I I have tariffs very high because there's not really any point to not. Yeah. I'm going to try and get a little bit more soldiers together. Every an election. But we're looking good. I don't really want to become a great power just yet. Yeah, we are trying to remove kebab, essentially. We'd have to wait for the event to fire. I kind of want to avoid getting too much prestige. There is an international crisis in Poland. Oh, Jesus. The liberation of Poland. Congress Poland. Wow, that, that actually is really surprising. Annoyingly, there's too much flash point tension. And the active crisis, obviously. Get the residency. I'm curious to see what happens here. Annoyingly, oh, but 1862, damn. Spare no effort. Fine. 
The wave of colonial unrest, this situation will pass. There we go. Now, um, there is a lot of people in Oyu who are trying to rebel, which isn't great. Russia has Austria as a backer. Into Italy will support them. Yeah, once Prussia backs them. It's interesting how Polish versus game is a lot more in control. Yeah, it's very much in control. This is the thing. So we now just got to wait a few years. I'm making tons of cash. Just absolutely tons of cash, which is really good. God damn it. Keep getting blights. Come on, Oyu. Don't be like this. Why are you so salty? There's no need for this. Maybe I could try and colonial appeasement and reduce militancy or something. I kind of want to just do the soldiers, though, for at least a little bit. Conservative reactionary party, as expected. I'm annoyingly losing pop from Blight. We just got to wait a little bit. This is the thing. Damn, I hate that we're losing pop. And we're starting to get a few more soldiers as well, which is really nice. Um, we're doing this in central Greece. And no, I can't actually recruit any more soldiers there. What? The Greek flag is the only thing they found in Ionia. National simulation completed. Oh yeah? In two infamy. Christ, okay. That's a bit weird. Why did that happen? But there's still 20... Oh, I killed all the Turks. Oh god. I actually murdered all the Turks. That's what happened. That's a bit dark. Okay. Well, I can actually fit a couple dudes in. Right now, I've got a, one cannon, one cavalry, and five infantry. And I've got two infantry, three infantry, one infantry. Could I get any more soldiers here? No, that's okay. So these guys are all infantry, so I should just build a bunch of uh, cannon boys. Don't know why I'm pausing, considering I have so much time to waste. I might as well just let it happen. So yeah, we might as well get a couple artilleries. Considering artillery is very good. Oh my god, there's gonna be war. Why is there gonna be war? Between England, Prussia, and Italy against Russia and Austria to liberate Poland. God damn it. Give up. Son of a... At least we haven't been called in. Oh, that's not good. There is a single dude right now in all your nationalists, annoyingly. I want to wait until we can start to get some of this. Um, but as my average militancy goes up, because I, I would like to try and start getting basic school systems so I could get more education efficiency. So I need to let militism rise a little bit. Oh man, that's war right there. Darwinism, education 50%. Thank God. I should have had that a decade ago. Really bad of me that I haven't. Monthly change 9%. Are you serious? Holy sh... Really? Really? That is so much. From technology 9%, 3.0, optimal is 4%. Uh, monthly base value 0.8 to educate spending at least 61. God damn. Maybe we should do this. Go to 100%. Let's go. We make a lot of money, so... I don't care about terrorists. Terrorists don't really affect me. So this war needs to kind of end in the next few years. Because I really don't want to have to be dealing with this. I need to find somewhere else where I can recruit an extra soldier. We're going to recruit a Greek cavalry. And I think that maybe we should try and get an army thing soon. Like strategic mobility or something with, for the digging cap and the extra defense. Plus, like, I mean, bridge-loaded rifles is always good for poids de bee and bridge-loaded ornaments. But then again, so is artillery. Just more artillery is good. Uh, Radim Stone, what's up, my friend? Yep. Well, let's see what happens of all the Great Wars. I got rushed my elevator. Yeah, that's the thing. Just gotta wait for the Great Eastern Crisis. 
We gotta wait for this war to be over, basically. It's very annoying. Currently, it's Congress Poland acquires all states. That's gonna weaken Russia like crazy. And also... Uh, Moldova acquires all cores. I don't care about that. There's Impressionism. I don't really need these. Because technology already limits me to three. I don't really need any of these. Oh god, empiricism. Jesus. Why the hell wasn't I doing empiricism as a priority? Missing on potential research points. Uh, okay, here we go. Yes, you can, Andrew. Multiplayer game of Greece and Russia. That would just be a slaughter on the Ottomans, though, honestly. It'd be too easy. And here we see the British destroying the Russian fleets, annoyingly. And Russia having to fight as many little battles as possible, but it does look like with massive battle war score and attacker occupations that Russia will be the loser, though they have mobilized their economy. A wave of colonial unrest. No, I'm not losing prestige for that. Bread riots. Barricades are in the main street. Oh, God. Reshuffle the cabinet, gain liberals in the upper house, or buy the time. I will buy the time and share prestige. I want to buy the time because now I can go. Oh, yes. Basic school system. Fantastic. A lockout. Oh, no. That's unconstitutional. All rich. Uh, get more reaction. I actually kind of want more reactionary, so that's fine. All right, there we go. That gets rid of the rebellion, and it increases our education efficiency. So we should start to see... Yes, look at this. It's honestly going up so fast. 23.13. Take a look at the end of the month. Wow. 23.29. Couple years. I, I mean, honestly, only a few years. Hey, what's up, Lambert? How's it going, buddy? Honestly, man, only a couple years left, and I, th I think we're going to genuinely have... Um... Yeah, I think we're going to be okay. We just got to gotta hold on a little bit. This could work. All right, we can do this. We're gonna be, we're gonna be, <laughs> we're gonna be fine. We're gonna be just fine. We just gotta wait for the greatest Eastern crisis, and we really have to hope that this uh, war of Polish freedom ends sooner rather than later. Obviously, because this currently counts. Oh, it doesn't actually count as a crisis, but because there's so many great powers at war, I'm never gonna be able to increase that. Uh, I've got a lot of soldiers in Central Greece now. Just got finished with the latest YouTube epi episode of this. Been quite enjoying it quite a bit. Oh, awesome! You've been watching the series. Oh, that's so nice to hear, Lambert. Awesome, buddy. You like it? Yeah, I made, I've made some progress. We've made, made quite a bit of progress. I'm only a couple episodes ahead of that. Egypt is a puppet. Egypt kind of starts as a... Ooh, Egypt's free. When did that happen? What? When did Egypt get released? What is happening? No! They built the canal! No! Oh, dear. Son of a... Fine. We're making money. We have some soldiers together. And now we have a little basic 30-unit army. Unification of South African Republic is fine. A 5-2-3, fine. That's fine. Oh, boy. We're trying to get intellectuals in Southern Macedonia to really try to increase the efficiency of, it, of our literacy increase. But we really do need to start getting factories probably in the next few years. Oh, no. Russia has rebels. They have Jacobin rebels. There's another British war and a door war as well, which is good. But it's 62% right now. Battle's 50%. So they have 50 battles war score. So they've got the max war score from battles. So it's just going to be attacker occupation now. That's awesome. Impressions are at 7.5 prestige. Oh my god. We're one of the first people to get that. That's fantastic. Our pop is increasing nicely. All right. Look, we just need the Eastern Crisis to fire. And then as soon as it does... We're going to have to pounce on the Ottomans. But the only problem is we're going to have to play it really defensively because otherwise we're going to get absolutely destroyed because the Ottomans are stronger. We have to wait for someone else to beat them. There's like an anyone I could ally, maybe. Is there anyone I could maybe ally for this? Because they're protected by them. They're in their sphere. Like Serbia, maybe? We could try to increase the relations of Serbia and see if we get Serbia to love us. That'd be alright. Or Persia! 
Nah, civilized and civilized is gonna be too difficult. You guys see the Brits and Anzac troops taking Gallipoli in the next 50 years. <laughs> Only hope, right? Valachia is independent. Yes, Valachia is in. Uh, well, it's in the sphere. No, it's a satellite of the Ottomans. Satellite of the Ottomans. Sorry, I misunderstood. Moldavia is also a satellite of the Ottomans. Just gotta hold on, guys. Getting a lot more soldiers, which is really good. Thank God. My infamy is decaying as well. We just gotta keep holding on. Good God, though. So, yeah, I mean, because Austria is in this war, Austria is getting absolutely destroyed. Although Russia does have the mobilized armies to fight them off, um, Austria is just too close to being wrecked. They're just It's just too easy to destroy, so they're going to get sieged down. There's no way they're not going to peace out soon. And they got five years to do so anyway, so we're fine. We're fine, we're fine. All right. God, Italy is getting just... Italy is sieged like crazy. Whose side is... It? And they're... No, no, it's still going. Sorry. Prussia and Italy. So they're actually exchanging sieges there. Okay. What? The Serbian liberation... Is Serbia free? Serbia is free! What the hell is going on? The liberation of Puglia. Sorry. Of uh, Volgidania. Are you, are you mental? Serbia's getting big, boy. Yeah. Let's get Serbia on my side. They're still in Russia's sphere, annoyingly, but... And they're pouncing on... I'm trying to get that opportunity. Good for them. Okay, come on. There we go, there we go. There's empiricism that'll help a lot. Um, we make a lot of cash, so I don't really care about money. Inorganic chemistry for supply limit might be a smart idea. Plus the pop growth. But at the same time, I wonder if maybe... I wonder if maybe I should try and go down the command principle, because right now we are several decades ahead, away from this. Because the lack of morale tactics is going to kill me in a fight. I have a few years to catch up, so... I mean, at least a few. I could ignore Navy almost completely, which would be nice. Oh no, we're going to become a great power. Ah, oh, Macedonia assimilation, nice. Crap, we're going to become a great power. Because my alliances. Shame. Ah, oh, damn. It's okay, they'll break them away at least. Try to rallies, let them hold their little rallies. I do episodes live? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And there's the Confederate States of America and the US. Great. Still making tons of cash, which is excellent. Oh, Sphere of the Ottomans. Ah, I wish, my friend. No way. I'm going to let them do the Eastern Crisis instead. Colonial Archaeology. Ooh, Prestige. Uh, I want it. I want it. Yeah, I want the Prestige. Take it, take it, take it. Okay, we just got to be... Unfortunately, this does mean we are going to become a great power. Vaccination pop growth. Oh, oh yes. I wonder if maybe we should try and get the ones that give me inventions that are useful, because I don't really care about this. I mean, things like the infantry defense, mobilization size. Yeah, we should go like strategic mobility and try and increase our mob size and try and get like fort max level. Because some of these are really, really good, obviously. I mean, infantry defense, mobilization size. There's two infantry defense features. Has fueled fortification and army professionalism. Iron bridge loader artillery, okay. I mean, we probably should try and get this a little bit. Yeah, we should probably try and get these. Really do need the war to go, though. Empiricism prestige. So I'm going to become a great power, unfortunately. Uh, it's frustrating. I didn't really want to be a great power, but okay. Gotta keep letting the infamy go down. And we're getting a little bit of those brigades, which is really good. Let's move the soldiers over there and try and improve the soldiers in Thessalia. Three and a half. So, okay, so Thessalia doing really well. We're almost at 30% literacy. Once we're, there, once we're a year off of that, we can start building factories. Wage movement. Stop that. 
Whoa, fisheries. Oh, but hang on, wait, wait, wait. Um, in Amphisa, Amphisa is cotton. Is there any other fish here? There is not, but I already have cotton, so yes, we'll have a fish there, please. Um, hang on, because Central Greece actually already is above 30% in a couple places. Dude, look at that. Looking good. All right. I guess we can start chucking down some factories then, start trying to make some money. Yeah, dude, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Okay, okay. Yeah, let's go. All right, in the next episode, guys, we are going to try and see if we can build some factories in Greece because we've already got literacy going on here. We're already above that 30%. Southern Macedonia could do with a bit more, but honestly, we could get a couple factories together, try and get them built. Let's do this thing. Also, it would be cool to force the parties to reactionary to try and get, like, more acceptable school systems. Okay. So, thank you so much for watching. Do be sure to leave me a like and a comment on this video. Let me think of this series so far. I appreciate it so much, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.